This video is sponsored by the Arc Echoes of Arcadia Light RP. So, in at number 10, we have got the Gacha, and this creature, I will admit, is somewhat good. Just my personal opinion on it is just pretty mid in all aspects. I don't really hate this creature, and I don't really love this creature whatsoever. It does have a use, it's not completely useless. It has been slightly nerfed since release, which kind of makes it a lot less useful than what it once was. But still, this creature does have a reasonably nice, like, you could kind of say, in a way, unique use, which, you know, does fit well in the theme of Extinction, and I do think it's a nice creature. I wouldn't remove it from the game. doesn't really need any kind of TLC or anything like that. It's pretty much just the, the mid of the mid, really. You're not really... It doesn't need to be better, but it doesn't need to be worse either. It's just... It's just where it is. Next up, we've got the Quetzal. And although I really do like this creature for its immense weight and the platform saddle, it really does make it a nice, neat creature. This thing really just doesn't fit in with all those newer creatures coming out. And it just seems like a bit of a slow ordeal. And it is a little bit of a slog to tame unless you have a net launcher, especially solo, because these things are an absolute pain to tame solo and they're just a little bit outdated which is what kind of makes them mid if this was in 2016 it would not be on this list whatsoever this thing would be like right at the top it was such a cool creature back then and i still really do have some respect for this creature it's just really for me i find this creature just to be heavily mid because it's it's quite outdated for today's arc use i don't know what you think comment your thoughts down below on the quetzal actually as i think it is it's a debatable one some of you just seem to hate it and some of you seem to really like it whereas for me i'm kind of quite mid on it now as i stated earlier this video is sponsored by the arc echoes of arcadia light rp and i'm really thankful for them reaching out for me but i want to tell you why this is the best arc server out there it is the most immersive rp server by far i love all of the time that i spent with it on so far i've thoroughly enjoyed all the playthrough and that is due to daily and weekly large events so you get an event daily but you get a weekly large event on top of that there's nine gigabytes of dlc full conversion which just adds a whole new way to play there's a fresh wipe at the moment as well so if you want to get started you really can do well there's over 60 mods over 75 new creatures there's all the dlc creatures there it's on the center you are gonna have the best time on this map there's even 12 unique base classes and with a server like this with 100 percent uptime there's really nothing that can go wrong so scan the qr code on the screen or there'll be a link in the description to join the server right away next up we've got the chalico and this creature kind of just has to be here for me and i think this one kind of could do with some tlc as we get closer and further onto the list they could do with some tlc or nerfing actually i might add well, the creature in it number one, I would say its downfall is that it's too overpowered. Probably going to be a really unpopular opinion, but stick around to the end to see if you, you know, if you agree with that thought or not. And uh, feel free to leave your suggestions down below for that creature. But either way, when talking about the Chalico, I think this creature, it has an interesting taming method. But once tamed, it doesn't do anything all too useful, which is a little bit sad. Yes, you can definitely get some use out of it and have some fun with it and really utilize this creature if you force yourself to utilize it you would be able to do everything that you need to do with this creature that this creature can do i don't really know all too much about this creature as i haven't spent too much time with it but from other people's opinions i've made a guess that it's it's quite a mid creature really and you may really love this creature and you may also really hate this creature and you may also just have no real judge opinion on it but personally I'm just going to say it's quite a mid creature and I have pretty neutral feelings on it although it's tame method is really funny and if I had a TLC I may even consider taming one. Next up we've got the Arthra Plura and although it does have quite a heavy PvP use in the PvE space it doesn't really get used so I'm balancing it out and I'm putting it as a mid arc tame and although its use is still pretty useful it doesn't do anything else apart from that one thing which I think objectively makes it quite a mid creature as it isn't particularly versatile by any means whatsoever it just breaks any kind of structure and that's all it does it breaks things and that's its only use you wouldn't really use it for anything else you wouldn't use it for a travel mount you wouldn't use it to g gather metal and resources like that and you just wouldn't use it for that and especially in the pve space i am quite 
heavily PvE minded and PvE biased, this creature really does not get used whatsoever. But I do admit in the PvP space it is one which is useful. Again, I'm not saying these creatures are supposedly bad, just when you think of it overall, they're pretty mid. There are some much better creatures out there, but also there are some much worse creatures and you know, there is always a place in the PvP scenario where you'll want to use an Arthur Plura for PvE, maybe not so much. Next up we've got the Raptor and when I kind of think of mid creatures, this kind of balances out almost at the middle for me, as I can agree it's a really great creature for starting off in your single player life. But then after that, they don't really become too useful, and creatures like the Dionicus are just much more useful and versatile, and you can go up and get something like a Kano or an Aloe, which is going to do a lot better, and you really kind of just outgrow this creature, and although yes, it's not really intended to be a late game creature, I'm not completely talking about that, it's just its span of use is so short and there's not too much you can get done with a raptor that you can't at the same time get done with some other creatures out there which personally i think are better options and i'm not again saying the raptor is a terrible tame i don't want to say that it's just like it's not deserving of being tamed i definitely think it is worthy of being tamed and it does have a place it's just again very mid to me i'm gonna reiterate this a lot sorry if that bores you heavily but i just really want to clarify a point here and personally i think this thing's weight would need to be better to warrant it being more useful it also could do with a little bit like more stamina and also its health could be a little bit higher which the dionicus all has and the dionicus is kind of like the raptor and it's just like infinitely better which really does put a much better it deserves a better spot in the terms of just generally ranked art creatures that would be pretty much near the top that one is it's insanely op but still the raptor does deserve a place i just think there are some better alternatives to creatures which you can use instead if you do go for the raptor it's not going to be the worst decision but maybe not the best either here at number five we've got the moser and i feel like this creature is in huge need of tlc and i really do need to say this because the Moser is one of those creatures where, yeah, you'll probably use it for an underwater boss fight, but frankly, its model is quite outdated, and it doesn't really do all too much for me. A Megalodon will just do me better, in my opinion. It's just more mobile and all of that, especially with all of these new ocean creatures, albeit with mods in, in the modding community. But that is accessible to all art players out there now, because ASA mods, like, you're getting loads of really cool new ocean creatures and this thing really doesn't stand up to it and even just in the general space compared to just the vanilla ocean creatures i really doesn't think it stands up as much as it should and it's kind of a little bit of a letdown and it's kind of it's just really mid it's not bad it's not great but it definitely could deal with some tlc and i think it would really shine if it did have that kind of spotlight next up we got the armaga and this creature's kind of purely here for its taming methods because its tame method is one of the most difficult and once you actually got it it's a little bit disappointing to be fair and yes it is still a useful creature but still its tame method really does make this thing just so mid and for most players maybe even inaccessible as you probably don't have 24 hours to tame a creature because you know they're so frustrating and irritating to tame i don't really want to talk about that tame method one of the most horrible experiences of my arc life and probably loads of other people's lives as well you thought the shadow man was bad try taming this thing that's kind of the only reason why it's here it is still a good creature but it's really really horrendously uh, horrible difficult taming method puts this thing on the list in number three we've got the angler and although i talk about this creature a lot and i kind of like this creature i still have to put it as mid as its only real use is gathering silica piles and again this creature could really really do with some tlc and it's it's it needs it frankly it, it might need a new model redesign have some nice cool abilities as well that lore is there on its face and it doesn't get used for anything obviously you can get angler gel from these things if you kill them but you know if you're taming one you're probably not going to kill it there just really isn't a lot you can do with this creature and i feel like there's so much potential for it to be a really good cool underwater tame that i want it to succeed and i want it to be really cool and inventive and i kind of wish wildcard did a lot more with it because they haven't and nowadays it's really just a mid creature which maybe you should tame maybe you shouldn't tame it's just it's it's mid of the mid really so you'll probably 
want to avoid it more than actually taming it because it's not going to be extremely useful to you but i really think if this thing did get the tlc it could be a pretty great arc creature which i think many of you would be taming and at number two we've got the archaeoptrix and i'm kind of purely putting this thing here as it's kind of been outdone ever since aberration came out and now this just isn't really useful with the cinema crops as well this thing is just so mid maybe even borderline on just bad and not worth taming it's definitely on that low end of the mid scale but i think with some tlc and if you make it more like the cinema crops but just on the island it could be a really nice neat creature and it would make it so not mid and that's kind of the reason why i'm putting it on this spot and in it like so high on this list because it's just such a mid creature like you wouldn't really even consider taming this thing and it's just if it had just that basic tlc this could actually be a quite usable creature which maybe quite a lot of you would be taming like taming the cinema crops but just for the island instead and in at number one we've got the rhino ganatha and when i first started making this top 10 list a couple of hours ago i had to just put this thing in the number one spot i admit it's a great creature and there's so many cool uses for it but it is way way too op for me i just i don't enjoy using this creature whatsoever i just feel like an absolute god and for some of you that's going to be a really nice feeling you feel like you've fully progressed and everything is easy but i like arc to kind of be a little bit of a challenge all the way through and it really isn't when you have the run ganatha frankly you tame it which isn't actually even too difficult a process i know it's kind of lengthy but it isn't as horrendous as you might think unless you want 100 percent effectiveness but still you are getting the immense opness that's a really dead joke but you know haha -ha, very funny of this creature and you know it i just don't like it and that's probably just me looking at my old arc views of me just playing arc for a while and i kind of like the grind and the primitiveness and i know loads of you really like this creature and really enjoy it and again i'm not saying it's a bad creature whatsoever i'm not saying oh this creature's just just rubbish or in this case mid and it just doesn't really have any real use it does but it is just so op in what it can pick up and what it can do it is really mid for me because it just becomes a really unappealing tame and i actually was going to make the top 10 most unappealing creatures list but i didn't really have the b-roll to facilitate that and i kind of only thought of this creature really and maybe a few others but not enough to make a fully fledged list so obviously that's where this came because i kind of do want to express my views of this creature and how i i kind of i i enjoy it but i really don't in another way i personally think it should be heavily nerfed and then i might actually consider using this creature and obviously it won't be because that's just the way arc is progressing now just a, a more easy game that's just full of really op creatures and it just for me it isn't becoming as fun to play anymore as all of these new op creatures are coming out and obviously you just avoid taming them but they are just all over the map as well and it's just i don't like it maybe even nerf this thing or give me an option to not have these things spawn on my map because i just don't really like them even in the wild and when they're tamed just both i don't I really don't like these creatures. But anyway, that is the end of today's video. What do you think of my Rhino Ganatha opinion? Feel free to agree or disagree. As always, comment down below what's the most mid arc team to you. And if you didn't agree with this list, put your top 10 in the comments down below. And I'll see you all later.